Okay, Medical Solutions people that are watching this video, I'm Katie. I've got you for today and tomorrow, and we're going on the Monarch Butterfly Trip. I'm on vacation for a few days in Santa Cruz. I'm currently in working in Orange County, California, but came up here for a few days to check out some friends. We made it to the Monarch Village, but there are no monarchs around. It's still pretty though. Stay tuned for more pictures. So one good thing about being a traveling nurse is you just keep an open mind. And when you get lost, you just find a new path, just like we're on this hike today and it's all about having fun, being open and trying new things. So we're out here wandering around, finding a marine center, a garden. And sometimes in life you just need to take the road less traveled or muddy. Or look, we're jumping across a bridge. And we found it, the natural bridge. And let's just hope I don't fall in when I try and cross the creek. Well friends, we made it to the beach, the natural bridges beach. It's actually pretty cool as I trip over some piece of driftwood. I'll show pictures soon. Okay, so this might age me a little bit, but do you guys remember skipping stones growing up as a kid? Yes? No? It's pretty comical watching these birds go in and here comes the waves to wash them away. I thought you guys might want to laugh. Okay, so I know you guys are all asking the big question, why did I become a traveling nurse? One, traveling is my favorite thing to do. Second of all, I love travel nursing because it gives me more options. I'm not stuck in one place forever. I can do anything for 13 weeks. Thirdly, I have to follow the golf weather because I love playing golf. Um, I haven't seen snow or lived in Nebraska for a winter in a long time. Also being from Nebraska, life is so different and me being on the road as a travel nurse is amazing. I absolutely love it. As a traveling nurse, I also have friends all over the country. In the many places I've been, um, for instance, today I went hiking with one of the girls in Santa Cruz. She also as a traveling nurse, my whole life fits into my car, Gus. Um, I have two suitcases and my golf clubs and my dive equipment. I got rid of my house in St. Louis and decided to start traveling. So I simplified my life and took everything back to my mom and dad's in Nebraska. And now people ask me, hey, do you have pets? No, my dog actually passed away, Elvis. He's in doggy heaven now. So it's just me that travels by myself. I am single, not married, don't have any children. I just have um, my family back in Nebraska, which I miss them dearly. But hey, guess what? They make airplanes. I also love the flexibility of being able to take as much time off as I want in between contracts. Like, hey, I don't want to work July, August, September. I love the summer. So I just got the question, how long have I been traveling? I have been with Medical Solutions for six years. Um, and they're amazing. I absolutely love it. So the only crappy part about travel nursing is when you get stuck in traffic. So another amazing thing about being a traveling nurse is you can visit friends like this one over here and for Valentine's Day and they make it Okay, the word of the night is shoop a loop. Shoop a loop. Everybody always says that the first time they hear me say shoop a loop. Any travelers know so what shoop a loop means? Shoop a loop. Copyright. Cole. Eh, done. <laughs>